Bit of a blackout last night, guys. Here's basically what went down. Scott, myself, Ben, and Mick all caught cod. We prevailed at the very end of the trip. It was huge, but after that moment, after that pinnacle, it was just a straight fall. We had not gotten any sleep in more than 24 hours. It was freezing cold. We'd been driving all day, we'd been fishing all day. And I honestly like don't even remember half of the drive, but we drove all the way from New South Wales, the cod spot, back to Brisbane, and that's where we're at today. Woke up bright and early this morning, uh, at Ben's place, you shout out to Ben and his wife for letting us sleep at his pad. Uh, I don't even remember getting in, it was so wiped. We woke up this morning to chase after yet another legendary Australian fish species, that being the famous Australian bass, which by the way, looks nothing like a large mouth or small, but it's a little bit similar in the sense that they've got the same type of mouth. They eat swim baits, they eat crankbaits and jigs and stuff like that. So we are gonna chase after those guys this morning. And then after that, take another seven hour drive, a big haul all the way up north to fish with a dude by the name of Sam, another Australian angler who's gonna teach us his ways. It's pretty dope because we're just kind of figuring this all out and having a bit of guidance is always key. But sorry about last night. It kind of just, it stopped abruptly. I promise it won't happen again. It was just, uh, I mean, you can imagine, just no sleep and grinding out and fishing. You just, you know, once once you succeed, it's just whatever. Like all the adrenaline is lost and you just wanna fall, fall asleep and pass out. But, all right, we'll catch you guys there. Peace. That's a good structure. Oh, dude, this looks sick. I'll lock the car. We're good. All right, let's hit it. Let's go, let's go. Welcome to day number two here in Australia. Day's starting kind of funky. We're getting in the water. You ready for this? You seem very no. distraught. You all right? I'm distraught. It's okay. Today, we're on a different mission. The cod we succeeded at. Huge, big ups. What do you have in your... Snell. Jeez focus buddy. Today we lowered the gear a bit. We're using some more finessier stuff. I've got a little tiny swim bait on a, what is this, a 7-2 rod and we're chasing after yet another endemic native Australian fish species, that being the Aussie bass, which is a little bit different than the bass we have back at home, but they're kind of similar in a sense. They've got mouths shaped like a bass. They chase lures, they eat swim baits, they eat jigs. And we're just kind of doing a half day session, like a quarter day session before we have to get back on the road seven hours north and fish for uh, some more Bucketless fish. We crossed a huge bucketless fish off yesterday, that being the cod. We all caught one there at the end of the day, and now we are going to um, see if we can catch one of these elusive bass. You ready? I think ready. we gotta go. I think Let's we gotta go swimming. Yeah. Let's do it. When we first pulled up here, this was this was kind of an audible idea. We didn't plan on fishing for these Aussie bass, but Ben brought us to this this dam or this lake, as we would call it back in the states, and uh, it's sick. It reminds me of a lake that I used to fish in college uh, in Ohio. It's super clear. It's like a big public reservoir. It's got tons of grass, like tons of grass, and the fish that live in here are pretty epic. You've got lungfish, which is like this ancient fish that's been around for millions of years that I guess is fairly endangered now and they live here. You've got Australian bass, uh, golden perch, which is nothing like the perch we have back at home. And there's also like brim and then um, catfish, I imagine. Oh, and then uh, Saratoga, which is kind of like a arowana, if you guys know what an arowana is. It's pretty sweet. I mean, it looks like 
anywhere in the United States. Like if you were to see this lake on Google Maps, there's no way that you'd be able to tell that this is like an Australian lake. The only thing different about this lake is what lies beneath and how you fish it. Unfortunately, we, it's not looking too good for the, the Australian bass. But at the very least, we can say we fished it, we checked out the list, and we get back on the road. Oh, he's got one. He's on. You should probably go over there. <laughs> you on, Ben? Yes. I've got a feeling it doesn't feel like a bass, but... There's some weight there. Oh. That's what we come here for. Sweet. Beautiful Australian bass. Yeah. He has absolutely swallowed that. He ain't coming off because he has absolutely nailed that. Look at that. You couldn't get that much further down his gut. He's really full in the belly. Usually in the winter they get a bit more conditioning on them. They've got some nasty spikes on the side you've got to be careful of sometimes. A little bit of a gill rake on there, one here, there's a little bit of a blade on the side there. They can cut you up pretty nasty, but they're pretty pretty tame sort of fish, no teeth. Much like, they've got a bit of a raspy jaw. There you have it, Aussie bass. He might be about a 35 centimetre fish. That's about average out here. So, it's not big by any stretch of the imagination, but really nice fish. Hey, hey, hey. No need to splash the lens like that. How good? Well, we tried. We gave it our all. Uh, but the, how crazy is the Australian bass was harder than the cod? We didn't fish as long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but still, definitely a challenge. I, I don't think he even got a single bite. I saw a few flickers out there. Ben did come in with a nice fish. Scott did pretty much nothing, per usual, you know. Waited till last moment to catch a cod yesterday. Kind of just didn't do much today. Yeah, we're tied one to one on this on this fish catching trip. That's all right, you wanna go on the road? <laughs> no, we we have to. We have to drive. Seven hours of driving. We gotta meet Sammy. John's probably gonna make me drive all the hours, just no, like I'm he not. has this Let's whole go. trip. Let's go. Whole not. trip. No, no, <laughs> no. What's that? All right, all right. thank you so thank much, you man. I really appreciate it. Good luck. Yeah. Yep. Trip, You're that side. We'll let you know how we do. Are you driving? Yeah. Around 10 p.m. Australian time zone. All right, I'm texting uh, Sammy Gibson right now. I have I have never met Sam before, but Ben and Mick orchestrated this whole trip for us, really kind of helped us get to where we needed to go. The concept, like I've said a thousand times, start in Brisbane and land in can Cairns, right? Is that how you pronounce it? Cairns. 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 And he's hooked us up with a bunch of anglers throughout the way. So we fished with Ben and Mick to start the trip off with. Now we are going to link up with Sam Gibson, who is a 19-year-old quote-unquote legend. 20. No, he's 19. Ben told me he's 19. But Mick told me he's 20. So he Sam's was. 19 and a half. Uh, so Sam's a really young gun. He's apparently a really amazing angler. We're going to link up with him tonight and then fish with him in the morning for a species that... Is it Bear Mundi? What do we... Probably Bear Mundi. Probably Bear Mundi, which is a freaking massive bucket list fish for me. Cod, huge. I've had that on my list since 2015. I've wanted to catch bear money my whole life. Um, so that could be huge if we catch that tomorrow. But today was kind of just like a get some R&R, &R, maybe try to catch a Australian bass and get on the road. I gotta figure out, we gotta figure out a place to stay though. Where do you wanna stay? Sandals Resort? Let's just go eat food. You're, you're kind of a Sandals guy, I could tell. You definitely would go to like Sandals, Jamaica. Have you ever even heard of and Sandals? You come, and you come back with like cornrows and brazen. Yeah, I would do that, but I've I don't know. Sandals? No. It's like basically like the Disney World of like resorts. I ruined a joke. You ruined it on purpose, I feel like. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone else knows what I'm talking about. So before we make it to Nippon, we're going to check out some local uh, fishing stores here in Australia. One thing I also want to say too is the rigs over here, like the off-roading overland vehicles are out of this freaking universe. Like look at this right here. This is a tiny one. But it's just so sick. This is dope. Looks expensive. This is pretty neat. Oh, that's sick. Oh. These are sick. That's so cool. What? Big Yeah. Yeah, alright. What would you say? This stuff's way different than what way we got back home. 
Look at these little guys, these top waters. Halco. Dude, these are these. cool. Those are new. Those look like Salmos. You ever yeah. fish those? Like, it's like that northern company. No. Look at these guys. Look at these. Like little tiny. Oh, I'm getting these. These are dope. I always love going to places out of the country and picking up lures that I've never seen before. Like, what in the hell is going on there? That is that is freaking cool, man. That's not better at all. Save up to $18. Do you think that means per lure or? Look, look at these little top waters. Dude, they got such, like, I got a bunch of little baits here, too. <laughs> this is dope. I've never seen stuff like this before. They've got, like, a lot of little lures, like, little tiny jerk baits, little tiny, that's like a Sammy. That's like the smallest Sammy you've ever seen. Is that a Sammy? That can't be a Sammy. That's a USA series, what the hell? That's so funny, we don't have those in the States though. <laughs> Do you realize how dumb that is? <laughs> this is a USA series Sammy by Lucky Craft, but we don't even have these in the United States. That doesn't make any sense. At least not that I know of, I've never seen any, I've never seen a Sammy that small. That is the size, that's actually smaller than my, my pinky finger. Pretty damn cool though. I'm definitely gonna get some stuff, like I got to. That's what you do when you go overseas. You get some lures that you can't get anywhere else. And your dog's charge. Where are you guys from? Texas, uh, United States. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Yeah. We do that one. I need an LA bait. LA or me, yeah. Got the stuff? So what I got is, uh, I got some little tiny lures. We're gonna be driving up the coast a lot this trip. So I want some little lures, like little tiny topwaters for when we just go after like some saltwater species. There's a, there's like a bunch of little tiny reef fish that are fun to catch that look cool. I think it'd be cool to feature in the videos. So yeah, I got a little spook there. I got some little jerk baits. You never know. We may not use them. We may use them, but it's good to have them on hand. Look at this little thing. That's, that is cool. That is micro. What else? You know what's funny is they called this the USA series, but we definitely don't have these in the United States. No. I've never seen these ever. Uh, what else did we get? We got some lures for squid, potentially. A lot of the Australian viewers were telling me that we need to go fish for squid when we're over here, so I got a squid lure, which looks to totally different than any lure. Like, it doesn't even have hooks on it. It's got, like, these little grappling things in the back. Do you notice how weird that is? Yeah. You're supposed to, I guess, just snag them. So we got that. Oh, uh, this is a toothbrush. This is yours, I think. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny jerk baits. That's sick. That's, like, a deep diving jerk bait. The company's called Atomic. I've never heard of Atomic. Looks cool, though. For if we do any like bigger saltwater or freshwater stuff, I got some uh, heavy duty hooks. These are 4X size one treble hooks. These are seriously one of my favorite treble hooks for like any sort of heavy duty species. So got that, we're unlocked. Got the micro lures, got the heavy hooks. We are set. Let's start driving. You ready to grab some grub? Yeah. Grub yeah. time. One thing we haven't done today, we've done a lot. We bought some lures, we attempted to catch an Aussie bass, but we have not eaten. So it's time to get some official Australian steak from probably very unfancy chain steakhouse. This is, pro this, is, this is probably like the Texas Roadhouse of yeah. Australia, but yeah. I don't even care, I just need food. Panama Jacks it is. Steak, oh, steak's good. I can't say it's as good, maybe, as it, as it is in Texas and Illinois, but uh, it's pretty McFuego. Were you eating cough drops? You all right? Yeah. Are you sick or is it just like a- No, I'm trying to protect my throat. It's been a rough, rough couple nights. You know, <laughs> hang on one second. You literally just said I'm trying to protect my throat. It's been a rough couple of nights. You're on the wrong side of the road right now, yeah, too. Yeah, you're supposed you're to be right. left. <laughs> I was with you guys. Uh, you had your own swag. You were in your own little tent. I was off doing something else. I don't know what you were doing, Scott. It's up to you. We're on the road officially. We're hopping out of Brisbane. I actually really like Brisbane. It's probably one of my favorite uh, Australian places next to Arley Beach. It's my favorite. I've, by the way, guys, I've only been like three places in Australia, so <laughs> my word doesn't really matter. We're gonna grab gas, grab some road snacks, and then we got a freaking toot seven hours north to Sammy G, Sammy Gibson. I'm pumped to meet him. I've never met him. This is this is like a this is great. I'm fishing with a new angler. Yeah, might as well. There's a real scratch there. Pump out of We have to go to different pump, I guess. We scratched the car pretty bad yesterday. That was Murray Cod Mission was a success, but the Subaru might not agree.
What's going on, John? We just found a freaking echidna. Oh, he's so little, bro. He's oh. like trying to hide right now. Yeah, he's in defense mode, dog. Car's in a little bit in the middle of the road. It's fine. That's a f***ing echidna, dude. Oh my god, he's on the camera. <laughs> Wait a second, no way. <laughs> he's on top. <laughs> Dude, he's got his head inside of it. Oh my god, that shot's oh. gonna be on. Wait, hang on, hang on. I gotta take a picture. I gotta take, take a picture. Take a goddamn picture. Exit the roundabout onto Appleton Drive, then your destination will be on the left. Yeah. Where's Dan the salt? I have the pepper. They were uh, all booked up. So we had to stay, yeah, we had to stay. So work. Yeah, it'll do. It'll do, pig. Well, here we are. We've made it to Yapoon safe and sound. It's right around 11 p.m. local time zone in Australia. Feeling pretty good. We were in rough shape this time last night. But uh, we split the drive. It was seven hours from Brisbane to here. Tomorrow's a big day. We're going to tackle, I think, two different types of fish species with hopefully our new friend, Sam. I haven't met Sam yet, like I said prior. Just through the grams, through Ben, linked us up, and we're gonna go uh, tackle some fish tomorrow with him. How are you feeling, Scott? Ready for some naps, huh? Feeling good. I need a fat nap. We both need fat naps. Get all recharged and refreshed for tomorrow's AM fishing send. Yep, 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 he's on. No way. No freaking way. No freaking way. Dude, I just reeled down and there was a fish. Oh my god, we're way too quiet for this moment right now. <laughs> 